Aries, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take the messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Spirit, what are the messages for Aries? Messages for Aries, please. Messages for Aries. So Aries, it looks like there's a conflict here, okay? The Nine of Swords, this is all about anxiety, okay? Being restless, overthinking something. Uh, the Six of Swords... This is revisiting the past, okay? Uh, you know, the past coming back up in some shape or form. Five of Swords in reverse. You know, whatever this conflict is, it does look like it's a lose-lose situation here, okay? Seven of Swords in reverse. Ace of Swords. Uh, this is asking, is everyone in this situation being honest with themselves, okay? Okay. You know, the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Swords, this can talk about taking accountability, having clarity, okay? The Knight of Cups, I do feel like you have the ability to see all sides here of the issue. Okay, the Knight of Cups is uh, diplomatic. If this is a workplace situation, the Knight of Cups reminds you that you have the ability to handle this situation with grace. But... Whatever this is, it's definitely um, some type of immature conflict is what I'm seeing for you this week. And both parties are in this Nine of Swords energy, okay? And both parties are needing to ask themselves if they're being honest um, because I feel like there is room for improvement in this situation. The Nine of Wands tells me, you know, this is all about working something out, okay? But it's definitely a situation from the past, like, being brought back up here. Whether it's the same person from the past or the same issue. Okay, there's some type of issue being brought up here. So, uh, Ace of Swords, Seven of Swords in reverse. And the reason why it's being brought up is so both parties can have some type of breakthrough. Uh, Ace of Swords can talk about a new way of thinking. Aries. But the good news here, I do feel like this situation is a, you know, it's has the ability to get resolved here okay what exactly is happening ace of wands you know the ace of wands that could be especially with the five of swords uh in reverse a difference in opinions possibly very passionate about your stances here but the page of cups this could be definitely um the differences in opinions, definitely something very immature, I feel, is going on. The world in reverse, the two of wands. You know, this is an energy of dropping something. Drop it, okay? Um, <clears throat> the world in reverse. Sorry about that, Aries. The world in reverse. Because here's the, here's the thing. You see in the two of wands, like, there's a whole new world of, ahead of them. A whole new way of looking at a situation. But the world in reverse came out with it. So it's kind of like maybe two people here or both parties, however many people are involved, 
both parties kind of refusing to see the other person's point of view or the other party's point of view. And the reason this is, this is all being stirred up, the whole reason is because there needs to be accountability. There needs to be a breakthrough in the way people think. Seeing something from another side. Let's see. Ace of Cups. Wow. And it's clear to me that both parties could possibly have a similar goal. But this is all about love and understanding. And I know that's going to be difficult for some people to hear. This is all about love and understanding and approaching situations from a place of kindness. And the nine of wands, like if, you know, the situation is truly valued by both people, this is about coming together and working it out. We have the moon and we have the three of cups here. And it does look like the other party wants to work this out, Aries. Okay, I feel like you both want to come to some type of understanding. The moon can talk about fears, confusion. I feel like this is a misunderstanding whatever the situation is that you're involved in, the moon can come in and uh, make everybody delusional or, you know, you, you keep you in the dark about certain things. So I truly feel with the three of cups coming out, this, whatever the situation is that you're involved in, this, there's clearly a misunderstanding. Be very careful um, feeding into something that, you know, could easily be dropped. Does that make sense? I'm not quite sure what the specifics are of your situation, but that's what spirit has for you in your general message. But something is a misunderstanding by both parties. Both parties are misunderstanding each other. And the page of cups, there could be something extremely immature happening here. Uh, five of Swords in reverse, Six of Swords in reverse. This is like nobody wins in this type of situation. And continuing um, spinning around and stirring this, you know, stirring the pot or continuing spinning in circles here, you know, it's just going to keep the situation vibrating very low and it's going to not be good, <laughs> you know? Um, so yeah, we have the King of Cups this is all about coming from a place of love and uh, diplomacy and understanding for, you know, each other's thought process really with the, uh, each party's thought process. And it's kind of like, you know, not everybody has the same opinion, right? Um, but speaking from love, I, I feel like whatever, whatever that means for you, speaking from love um, and understanding. And so what do you do if the other party is not wanting to do the same? Okay, well, you drop it. You just drop it. Um, give me some advice for Aries. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this energy is really just worrying about yourself. Okay. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, you know, she's very nurturing to other people. She's very kind. Let's see. Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups could sometimes be an apology. Okay, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands. Six 
something has the ability to get corrected. Something has the ability to be dropped. But I feel like whatever this uh, argument is with the Five of Wands, whatever this tension argument is or is going to be, it has the ability to be fixed and it has the ability to wake each party up to certain things the universe was wanting each party to see. So there's definitely a message within this. This is almost like a test with the magician, the judgment and the universe is testing both parties. All right. So when it comes to love, the person that Aries is thinking about when it comes to love, okay. Strength card in reverse, three of pentacles in reverse. It's Leo energy, very interesting. Then we have the Ten of Cups. So whatever is not being worked out between you and this person, I feel like whoever you're connecting with, they truly do want to work this out. Okay. Um, they truly want to get on the same page with you, but yeah, four of pentacles. I think someone feels like you're holding a grudge against them, Aries. Okay. Um, let's see. We have Taurus Sagittarius energy. So there's a commitment being tested. It feels like a divine union to me. Okay. And it's just being tested at the moment. We have the devil at the bottom of the deck, by the way. Um, I feel like there's two people involved that are, you know, being guided to learn how to adapt. We have the Nine of Swords and then the Three of Swords. A lot of fears, a lot of worries, a lot of insecurities being brought up right now in this connection. And I feel like it's our attachments that keep us in this painful state, that keep us, our attachments to anything, right? Our attachments to our beliefs, our attachments to our, you know, like our strong held opinions, our strong held beliefs, okay? Okay. That, you know, or our attachments to other people. We could be attached to anything. But I do feel like there's a divinely guided situation. Um, the interesting part is I just feel like there's a misunderstanding. We have a seven of cups, judgment in reverse. Yeah, definitely a misunderstanding happening here. And it feels like what you really, it's an illusion. Okay, the Seven of Cups is kind of like Seven of Cups, the Judgment in Reverse. Not seeing clearly. Okay. How does this person see Aries right now? The World in Reverse. Fixed Energy. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. They see you on the opposite side of the issue, the opposite side of the fence. Okay. Something's not over. That feels like unfinished business to me. Okay. We have the Ten of Swords for how they feel. They feel hurt. Um, they feel drained by the situation. This is somebody that does not want the situation between you two to end. Okay. They don't want a permanent disconnection here. Ace of Cups, yeah. It's, somebody wants to make peace with you, okay? But there's a really big illusion here that is keeping you two on each ends of this globe here. <laughs> each ends of the map, right? Is this way it's coming out? Knight of Wands for how you see them. You could see them as uh, unpredictable. How do you feel? Five of Wands, the Magician. 
you could feel like somebody was intentionally being argumentative, okay, or intentionally starting something, intentionally bringing drama into your life. Uh, the magician can, when it comes out with the five of wands, be a little manipulative, and you could feel like this person is manipulating a situation. Seven of Swords. And you both have this, I must say, imagination, guys. Um, now, I'm not saying somebody didn't do you wrong, okay? Or vice versa. I'm not saying that at all. This is a general reading. I'm just telling you what Spirit's giving me. Because the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and then we have this Seven of Swords with the High Priestess. You're, each of you have this imagination that the other is shady that the other is sneaky that the other has a hidden agenda okay um and the reason why i call it an imagination is because it feels like there's more to the story that either one of you can see we have the justice card and the three of cups the four of swords and then the six of cups so the person you're connecting with, you know, they are for some reason wanting some type of justice here. Okay. In the situation, wanting to balance this out. And I do feel like, you know, they want to reconcile with you. The, the four of swords here, this is somebody here that has taken a step back to reevaluate themselves and also uh, think about their next moves towards you. But the thing I'm seeing is they want to make up. They want to come forward. And the Justice card also talks about cause and effect. And they know the consequences of not reconciling with you. And the consequences to them are major. Because they miss you, okay? They want to be on the same page as you. The Six of Cups wanted to come out again. We have the King of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Nine of Wands, Ace of Swords. Five of Swords. So, you know, it does feel like, and you know, whoever was coming out in your first reading could also be in this spread as well, just to throw that out there, because a lot of similar um, things are coming out. Um, clearly, both of you want to work this out. Okay, but the Five of Swords, the thing about the Five of Swords is it's very stubborn energy. It's very, um, I'm right, you're wrong. Okay, and I'm going to stick to my guns at all costs. But the thing I'm seeing is with that type of mentality, without self-evaluation in this other person's, and I'm, I'm getting the other person, of course you too, but without this person self-evaluating what's really going on and being stuck in their ways and unable to see a, a, a situation differently, unable to change um, their mindset, because it does look like you're dealing with somebody incredibly stubborn. Yeah, this is like my way or the highway type energy, guys. All right. Um, it's just going to stay in a state of it's going to stay stuck. But the thing is, I'm getting a misunderstanding. We have the six of pentacles here that wanted to come out. This is all about, to me, with it coming out in this spread, this is all about wanting the upper hand, wanting control. Look at that, the two of pentacles, committed to having the upper hand here, okay? Taurus energy, what's Aries advice? Spirit, what is Aries advice in this situation? Okay, you have two cards that flew. I just, I paused the video and got up and grabbed them. 
So the Ace of Swords, the Hermit is your advice. We are in Virgo season, okay? Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo, of course, but I feel like the advice is to, with the Hermit, this is all about self-assessment going within, okay? Uh, searching within, uh, possibly, you know, reevaluating your mindset too can be your advice, right? Reevaluating the way you see. And this uh, Ace of Swords is all about, you know, are you seeing a situation clearly? And I feel like what would be very beneficial is looking at a situation through somebody else's eyes, okay? Um, I'm not saying that they're right and you're wrong or you're right and they're wrong. This is just the advice Spirit says. Okay. Like, do you have the ability to see? The issue from somebody else's eyes. Okay. I will say I'm seeing communication come in. And when communication does come in, because this is a deep conversation, I feel like that's what your advice is. Allow this person to speak, okay? Let them just get something out when they come in to communicate. But this does have the ability to get resolved here. We have the five of pentacles because if we don't have the ability to see the other person's point of view, nobody wins, guys. Four of wands, two of pentacles, seven of pentacles. This, this, I see, and then we have the sun at the bottom of the deck. I see something getting worked out in the future. And I'm not telling you to be a pushover by any means. Do not um, misunderstand me. <laughs> Okay, obviously, uh, you know, have your own inner guidance in this situation. You know, listen to your intuition. The only problem I'm getting here with the High Priestess and the Seven of Swords, I feel like something may not be, I feel like uh, something may not be filled, uh, you guys are not filling the situation correctly, either one of you. It's kind of like jumping to conclusions without allowing a situation to... Um, Like, not seeing something clearly here. There's definitely a misunderstanding, so. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for hitting the like button. I hope this gave you some sort of clarity. Until next time.